Week two is in the books, which means the Alito Bearcats revenge tour is now in the rearview mirror. Last year, Alito started the season off with losses to Parrish Episcopal and Denton Geyer before going undefeated the rest of the way and winning a state title. Well, after beating Parrish last week, they were looking for revenge against Geyer this week. And the battle between the Bearcats and the Wildcats is our Whataburger game of the week. These two schools put on a pretty good show last year, and this year's game would be even better. Guy was down six at the half, but comes storming back. Logan McLaughlin throwing a beauty to Corbin Glasgow from 39 yards out, behind the secondary and into the end zone. And then again, McLaughlin to the air again. The rainbow this time to Keegan Stelmaski. Geyer takes the lead, but the Bearcats don't panic. Behind their TCU bound signal caller and former bobblehead winner, Haas Haney. Watch Haney call his own number, follow his blocking, and get knocked out of bounds just before the goal line, but Alito would score on the next play. We move to the fourth quarter now, and Racine Gilroy goes right up the gut from five yards out. This game's going back and forth. The Wildcats go back to the air at that point, and it's McLaughlin again finding a wide open Galsko. 64 yards on the touchdown. McLaughlin threw for 314 yards and five scores. But Alito runs the three-minute offense to perfection, and with two seconds left in a tie game, they line up for the game-winning field goal. And Cole Crawford drills it from 20 yards out. That gives Alito the win. What a game. What a finish. Alito gets the 45-42 win over Denton Geyer. The Game of the Week is brought to you by Whataburger. Download the Whataburger app today and start earning more with Whataburger Rewards.